can I ask about the first year when this new money comes in, which is 2019-2020? In that year, how much Brexit dividend will there be? Well, I don't think we will have very much Brexit dividend Any. because, well, because in the first period after we leave the EU, we'll be paying a divorce bill, which will be substantial. But going forward, of course, we will have settled that. And Theresa May was very, very clear that there would be an impact on the taxes we all pay. We will find out what that impact is at the budget. Now, why are we not spelling that out now? Because these things, as you know, are always spelled out at budgets. But we need to give the NHS six months to come up with a plan. And this is a conditional offer by the government. We said if the NHS comes up with a plan over the next six months that meets our requirements in terms of a stabilizing performance, dealing with some long-standing issues. Not give them this money if the plan isn't good enough. Well, I have to say I'm very confident that the NHS will come up with a good plan, but when we see that plan, they said to us, before we can do that plan, we need to know how much right. money's on the table. And if, that's what we've told them. If Jeremy Corbyn came into this studio and said, I'm going to spend £20 billion extra on something, but I can't tell you how I'm raising it, he would be absolutely crucified. Now... As a government, you are currently doing the same thing. We have £20 billion. Uh, Where's it coming from? We don't know. We will tell you in due course. Uh, only for a period of months, because the NHS very specifically said to us, in order to do yeah. this 10-year plan, and I've been saying for a long time uh, that we need to give the NHS stability, uh, a long-term uh, funding settlement, so that they can make some of these really important changes that they need to make. Uh, they said, well, they need to know how much. So we're telling them how much so we would be prepared, and we will tell the country exactly how we'll pay for it. In the budget in the and bank. you're still saying that some of this comes from a Brexit dividend. Can I, can I read you what the Institute of Fiscal Studies says about this? You're probably familiar with it. This, there isn't a Brexit dividend, they say. If you look at the arrangement we've come to with the European Union in terms of paying our exit bill, and you add to that the commitment the government has already made to keep funding farmers and so on, there is literally, arithmetically, no money. In addition, we know the public finances will be worse as a result of the Brexit vote. The OBR, that's the official government body, has said by £15 billion a year, there really just isn't money there for a Brexit dividend. Well, what the IFS uh, agree with is that we won't be paying subscriptions to Brussels. But where there is disagreement is what the impact on economic growth will be. And all I would say is that a lot of those experts have been proved wrong in the past in their forecasts, and we actually think that the British economy can get through this very challenging period. But we don't know exactly when, and we don't know what the impact okay. is, which is why we're being very clear that, yes, there will be an impact on the taxes people pay, and we will set that out. Well, let, me give you, let me give you another uh, expert forecaster who does agree with the IFS, said that the figure of the £350 million pounds a week or the 100 million pounds a week on the side of the bus, that figure. He said, it's not a figure we can bank on with any certainty because even if it did materialise after an exit from the EU, it would be negated by the very smallest of contractions in the economy. Well, all I would say is... Do you agree with that? Uh, uh, no, because I think you, you, said uh, it. you are focusing... No, I don't agree with the line of question because you well, are focusing... That's your own quote about the effects of yes. leaving the EU yes. on our... Finances. And that's exactly what I said before you threw that quote at me, which is that there is uncertainty about the impact on the economy of um, Brexit. But uh, the real point.